gimmick. To start and stop. All you, all you gotta do is just hit the blue one. And then hit it to stop. Yeah, it'll have a stop deal up there. But we'll... They got. They got to give you something to do. They got. They got to give you something to do. What, what, are they, what are they fighting in? Ten ounce clubs? Eight. Below one forty-seven. As long as they're not doing those stupid MMA gloves. I've been. I've been hit with one of those. I'm like, I'll wear those all day. Long. I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't get into it. Joe. What, are, what are you getting into right now, James? Well, we're gonna do this interview, and then I guess we're free here. Are you are you spending the evening or are you going back and then coming back? Oh no, hell no, I'm going to my best friend's house. Thank you, everybody. Make weight. Eat some steak and hang out, man. You look good. You look so like do you have do you have like uh, do, you, do you have like an official ESPN gear? Have they given you gear? No. No. They, they keep saying it's coming. It's coming. I, I think they're waiting for me to like prove myself or well, something. Well, like I said, I got I I got. Bless the other day for the National Radio Hall of Fame, and they had this Jim Rome guy. Was, What's he ever done? And I'm oh, like, Where yeah. is Andrew? He's on his way. <laughs> he's on his way. You know he's being a smart ass, yeah. right? Yeah. You got to start somewhere, kid. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Hey, I I am always the heel, and I always make everyone else the baby face. Yeah. I said it on the floor right over there. All right, James. I'll see you tomorrow. You're going to see you tomorrow, Yes, right? me and me and Britannia right, against her better wishes. Take it easy. <laughs> Where's She's, Brittany? That's part of the reason why Nagy and I are here today. She wanted to mow her yard today. She's not mowing it. She's mowing. <laughs> so I don't know what she's doing. Okay, Nagy. All you right. want to hit that? Let's get off and run in here. All righty. The big stuff. Star station screen. Okay. The Hall of Famer. Uh, sir, who walked in behind me? Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> who, who walked in late? <laughs> who walked in late? Behind. Jigman Freud, That's always. It. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so Steve. Yes, sir. Since I missed the land. Yes. <laughs> give me a recap, brother. Well, first and foremost, this is an elegant facility. Oh, fantastic! Really, from a personal perspective, it's an official's dream to be housed eat and actually perform the arena all contiguous all together and then you can gamble i'm, I'm, a, I'm a scared you, you can bet on sports now no, it's I, legal I like that. Um, but you're an official you can't bet on i stay sport. away from everybody and yes. just do my job uh, it's a beautiful facility they're expecting a capacity crowd uh, the fighters from the rafters i hope so i hope Maybe you'll be on time. <laughs> I wanted you to be at the glove selection so you could actually observe it, but you had, other, you had other commitments. <laughs> but seriously, the weigh-in went very, very well. I swear to God, there was a, there was a sign on the highway that said damaged pipe for sale. Oh and we were thinking, man, damaged pipe or the weigh-ins. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you a salvation guy, a salvage guy? But anyway... Um, first of all, on a serious note, yes, it is the first legitimate world title state in the great, great state of Kansas. Uh, the commissioner is exceptional. Yes, he's exceptional. He is. He is, and and, he, and he's going to think I'm BS it, but he is the best commissioner the state of Kansas has ever had, as far as I want to say Kansas that I've had the pleasure of working with him. He's. I'll take Joe Cortez's line. Adam is firm, but he's fair. Yes. And he's no nonsense, but he's so easy to work with. There's no, uh, it makes the comfort level of officials a lot easier when he says he's not a micromanager. He delegates our bouts. And we're on our way. Makes it work. He gave me my assignments, so I know in advance what I'm doing. But, uh, in addition, which is an honor, I'll be working some. Uh, Kansas undercard box, which is the first, my last time in. 
I was uh, just assigned Nico's job, which in and of itself is an honor. Yes. But it's nice to work with the, in the undercard to really get the sense and feel of uh, working with the commission. Um, there was there was an incident. I was told told by you before we got on camera. Right. There was an incident. The incident explain the incident. I'll explain it to you in this regard. <laughs> At the, they both made weight. Not a problem. Oh yeah. Right? And uh, Nico felt disrespected when the kid pushed his face into Nico's oh, face. Oh, so when they so did when they did the catch-ups. Well, they, they, they went face yeah. to nose, and Nico and he, took, it, took it personal and shoved him. So John Anderson, our terrific promoter, he grabbed Nico, I grabbed Sylvester. And of course we said, save it until tomorrow. Yes. Um, it, everything just went very, very smoothly. Um, don't do it for free out here. Do it in there. Exactly. Where you don't they say that? And the undercard looks terrific. You've got to. What, 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 what do you think of Chris Harris? I actually work out with Chris Harris on a regular basis. He is fantastic. He's supposed to be fighting on the card tomorrow. And I think he's like the first or second match. Um, the only, I have to be perfectly honest, the only kid that I really am aware of is um, Jeff Strom. Yes. And, uh, the last time he fought right, out of the other place, exactly. bam, yeah, down he's, goes. He's 2 and 0. Oh. He came in fit, and I guess because he's in Nico's camp, I I paid more attention because he's a pure Kansas fighter, and um, it's a big country, guys. And <laughs> you know, Kansas deserve country. it deserves. No, we all can't be in the garden on Saturday night or at the Staples Center on the other night in California, but hey, this is This effort. isn't bad. This isn't bad. <laughs> and as the fighters develop, I have a self-interest. Jeff keeps winning, title opportunity. Nico opened up this venue for our organization, and uh, quite frankly, the IBA is riding on fighters, young, yes. up-and-coming fighters, as they grow, so does the organization. Well, and one thing about IBA that I've noticed is that you guys work with athletes that are just getting going. Yeah. Roy Jones is of the world, the Oscar right. De La Hoya of the world, yeah. now Nico Hernandez. Exactly. So. You, you, you said it. It was their first title as they go up the road. And Who and needs that big green belt? You get the cool white belt. This is, well, now this is a cool black belt. Too. Oh, it's a black See, belt. See, he missed it again. Look at this. He wasn't here. I am tired of educating <laughs> this man. This is too much education. I mean, uh, the championship belt is custom made. It's, uh, it's, they fight so hard for it. Uh, it's made with pure quality. Awesome. So, um, and I just really believe that you'll see a growing growing love and respect for the sport in Kansas. Now you're bringing in another aspect, up your alley. You're bringing in super box. You're bringing in a Nico's major... going to be fighting on pay-per-view. Exactly. In States exactly. tomorrow. Exactly. And it's a wonderful start. And Who uh, in the world, and they're like, fourth or fifth fight, is fighting on pay-per-view? Lomachenko. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Zoom and guys yes. like that. But... Well, hey, is, speaking of it, what do you think of this Lomachenko character? You know, he was just... He does so much stuff, you're like, the guys are like, hey, where'd he go? He's, uh, he put on an amazing display. I have a huge respect for Jorge Linares, and uh, uh, he, uh, he exercised his will. Yes. And as they say in our trade, broke him down. And that's not easy to do. That's a legitimate world champion. Yes. So Lomachenko is everything they say he is. So uh, I enjoyed that. But I have to be perfectly honest. I see uh, at this stage of development, I think Nico has all the tools. Yep. And uh, he's got great footwork. He can, he can close the show. He, he's got a little think, bit of everything. I think he's excellent. And they're moving him, uh, you know, they're moving him nicely. Uh, it's, you have to understand. Just and every single time he fights, he fights guys that are 
just a little bit better than him, so he's moving along. Exactly. It's not like the old boxing days where you had this record of 250 and 0, and 200 of those guys were just bums. No, no. <laughs> and you have to commend Wick, the matchmaker. It's very difficult. Where are you going to find 100? Unless you go to Mexico or Thailand, yes. where are you going to get 112s? So to have a legitimate champion from Europe come over, you know, I think it's excellent. I really do. I just. I just see just a very, very bright future. Uh, he's got to get over this kid, and uh, it's an excellent part. I just hope the public really responds because uh, you have a heavyweight from the Ukraine on the rise. You have a uh, another heavyweight from Russia that they brought in uh, with uh, Joey Gamash, a former world champion, as his kind of. So. It just—it's a very, a very bit of everything. Exactly. Words took out of my mouth. It's, it's a cornucopia box. Watch your language. It's—it's—it's it's, 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 it's yeah. a family. Audience. It's a family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a family uh, show. It's—it's um, <laughs> it's serious. The first, first world title in Kansas. First pay-per-view for Nico. Launching the Super Box program yep. in the United States and primarily to our Canadian. Friends All of our good North. friends at the Great Legacy. White North. Exactly. So, Jim, we're in good shape. Well, good to see you, my, my friend, pleasure. as always. Uh, report time for James, <laughs> 6 o'clock. Doors open at 6, first bout, maybe 7. So he's going to be fashionable and come yes. in at 7.15. <laughs> and then he'll say to me, what happened? <laughs> at, 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 at the end of the night, I'll be like, did he go No, and he'll say, did, <laughs> did he pick up that salvage scrap pipe? <laughs> That's the key, baby. My That's man. the key. Hey, Jack, you're the man. Thank you, sir. God and thanks for watching Jiggy Jag TV. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> so, so. Does Venom, does Venom bid and get involved, and that's how they can respond to it. How does that, how does that